Hello and welcome to a bonus night of crafting with me, or a bonus day I should say. Um, this is the Christmas vlog hop for Craft Stash. So the design team and the de co-brand designers are all having a little blog hop and all the links will be down below in the description box but the idea is that every day is a new technique and you can pop along and check it out. So yesterday was Marta and tomorrow is going to be Helen but all the links will be down in the description box below for you. There are also some giveaways that will be going on so I will have a giveaway on my channel and the others will all have giveaways. The only stipulation is you need to be subscribed to this channel as well as Craftstash channel and those links are all, well Craftstash's link is in the description box below so make sure you check that out. So today I thought it would be fun to do a new technique. We are going to do pearlescent clear acetate. So we're going to take normal see-through acetate, um, you know, old packaging, or in my case I'm going to use the heat resistant stuff, and we are going to make it look pearlescent. I'm using heat resistant acetate tonight because I plan to stamp on top of it. You can use whatever you've got if you don't plan to heat emboss and stamp on it. So I've got several different products. I've got three different products. I've got paint, I've got ink, and I've got an iridescent medium. So you could use almost anything. All three of these do not rub off the back. Now I'm going to use this acrylic paint tonight as my primary one, but I will share with you what they look like when they're all finished as well. I'm also going to add in a bit of extra sparkle because I want some more glitter in my little background. I want it to kind of be a bit more blingy than normal. So I'm going to take my acrylic paint, which is this pearlescent white, and I'm just going to squidge some onto my little plate and then sprinkle on some of my glitter. Now you don't need glitter, but you can use whatever you've sort of got in your stash. I bet you Nouveau drops would even work as well. My paint is a little bit thick, so I'm gonna add in some water because I want it to be more like a wash. I wanna wash this paint over the back of my acetate. Now the way I'm going to use it, no one's actually going to touch the back of it, and therefore, it won't really rub off or anything like that. All of these are quite durable. When I'm done all of the different paints and mediums, none of them rub off. They're all stuck to the acetate quite well. Now when I'm applying this paint, I'm going quite slow and smooth and I'm trying to make sure that I've not got too many streaks going on. You'll see in a second the different variations between the different mediums that I used and how they kind of look when you get finished with them. So my first sample is the original paint I shared with you, which I think I picked up at the dollar store in Canada. I did two layers on the left, three layers on the right, just to kind of give you an idea of how see-through or translucent they are when you're finished. So you could do two layers or three layers, and I did dry between them. I wanted to make sure they're fully dry, so I used my heat gun and just dried them nice and gently. This is the iridescent medium. It's a lot more splotchy, and you can see those brush strokes a lot easier, which isn't brilliant. I love the shine. There's a lot more shine to it, but I didn't like that it was a bit more streaky. It doesn't rub off, though, but this is two layers, and it was a bit too streaky for me. And I did go ahead and try out the ink as well, and it didn't rub off, but I kind of don't know where that footage went. But here's the one that I did with you on camera, and I did two layers. So I get this gorgeous glitter kind of poking through, which is kind of hard to see, but it is there, and you get the pearlescent clearness. And you'll see at the end of the video with the project I make, you can see how beautiful it looks. So I went ahead and used up the rest of that paint that I mixed up and just put it onto some black cardstock and I can go ahead and die cut that out later and make some beautiful flowers or something with it. I didn't want to waste all that paint that I'd squidged out. So now I'm going to share with you a quick little project I made with my acetate. I'm using this stamp here from Daisy May. I'll have it linked down below if you want to check it out. It's a nativity scene, um, sort of like a children's themed nativity scene stamp set and there's a few different ones in the collection. So what I'm going to do is take my acetate and stamp directly on top of that. Now I don't want to stamp on the side with the paint, this rough side. I want to flip it over and I'm going to stamp on the smooth side. So the back is where we painted, the front is where we're going to stamp. Now I'm going to do some heat embossing, which is why I use that heat resistant acetate. And I want my ink to stick and dry quick. You could use stays on ink if you wanted to stamp on top of it, or you can do an easier, quicker option, which is to heat emboss. Do not forget your little embossing powder bag because otherwise you will get lots of static stuck to your acetate. It really does suck in all that extra embossing powder. 
So I've stamped it in black in my Versafine and then I'm going to heat emboss with clear. I just find that looks great and it still looks just as black as if I used a black embossing powder. However, I don't get any bits stuck in it. It's just nice and clear and if any of the embossing powder goes anywhere else on the acetate, you can't really see it because it's clear. So there it is all finished. It did crinkle a tiny bit, but I think that's because the mat I used underneath it was absorbing that heat and it kind of <laughs> added to the melting factor. So I'm using this step up card, which is a large die. You do have to have the Big Shot Plus to be able to use it. It's not A4 or it's not A5, it is an A4 die. And it just creates this cool little stepper card. And this is great because now I can go ahead and tuck lights behind my acetate and kind of brighten it up from behind. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Here's the little nativity scene characters that you can color in and fussy cut out, which is why I did. I used my Arteza um, or my Arteza uh, pencils and I have them all swatched out. So I just went ahead and looked for some colors that I liked, some colors that I thought would fit with the stamp set. And then I colored it all in. Then I painstakingly <laughs> fussy cut it out. If you watch my channel, you know I don't like fussy cutting at all, but it does look quite nice. So I went and die cut out a little panel using the coordinated dies out of designer paper, and then I cut out my little characters. Now to stick this into my card, I'm going to use a bit of foam tape because I want to keep it a little bit away from the characters. However, I do apply foam tape along the bottom, but you don't actually need to do that. So you'll see me take it off in a second because I didn't want it actually to stick right to that front of that panel. Now these lights I picked up from Every Crafts a Pound, Every Crafts a Bargain I should say, sorry, and they were one pound. I think you can get them in the pound shop as well, probably the dollar store if you're in the States or Canada. Um, they're really cheap LED lights and it looks a hot mess. I am literally just taping it everywhere, all behind. I'm trying to pay attention to where the little lights are and I'm just tucking those that string behind it and taping it. When they're all in place, I can then go ahead and peel off my release paper on my foam tape, and I can slide that little panel in and stick it just behind that front area. So from the top, it looks a bit messy, but from the front of it, it looks really gorgeous. So I obviously needed to go and get some batteries, and then I could turn it on and you can see the magic. So we've got this beautiful clear acetate, but it's got this pearlescent shine, which covers up the fact that I've got all that hot mess of string behind it, and all you can see is the lights. So I love this technique for kind of giving you a window that is a bit foggy. So here I am just turning off my lights so you can see it in the dark a bit. There's the hot mess. We're gonna pretend no one's gonna care about that. They're gonna put it up on their mantle and they'll just admire the lights. So I hope you had a really good time with me tonight. I hope it wasn't too quick for you, but I wanted to focus on the technique of turning your acetate into a beautiful window um, rather than the actual coloring and putting the card together. So please remember to check out the description box. There's quite a few more videos to come and there's a prize for every single video. Now, if you want to enter the prize in my video, all you need to do is comment down below and tell me what is your favorite Christmas tradition. I want to know what you love to do every Christmas. Pop that down in the description box and a winner will be announced on my channel um, as soon as the contest is over. So keep your eyes on my channel for a video announcing the winner. Take care. Have a fabulous week. Bye.